Yo, what's up guys? My name is Hacky, and in this video, we're going to be creating the best custom weapon loadout in GTA 5 Online. If you didn't know, you don't actually have to be carrying all of the weapons in the weapon wheel because it's a little bit annoying to have to scroll through them every time you log into GTA Online again. So we're just going to be picking the best weapons we need from each class. Here's the weapon loadout section. So we're going to press right D-pad on it. And in here, we can actually just show and hide whichever weapon we want. So for melee weapons, I got to say this one doesn't matter as much i don't really mind carrying melee weapons just because i don't need to scroll through them too often so i'm just gonna leave that as it is but for pistols we have so many pistols and a lot of them are pretty much the exact same so pistol mark 2 i'm gonna hide that one combat pistol i'm gonna hide that one the ap pistol though probably the best automatic weapon you can use on a vehicle so i'm definitely gonna leave that on show heavy pistol no flare gun i guess we'll leave it heavy revolver no up and atomizer is actually a very useful weapon Weapon. If you ever get stuck somewhere, you can shoot down fences or you can actually launch yourself in the air so you can actually jump over fences with this weapon. It's extremely useful. Highly recommend you guys use it. Navy revolver, no. Sun gun, we're gonna leave in our inventory just for gits and shiggles. And finally, yet another pistol that does the exact same as a lot of other ones. So only a couple of pistols we wanna show. All the other ones are pretty much useless. They do the exact same thing. They're not that good. Inside of machine guns, there is a super superior weapon in this class called the combat mg mark ii i highly recommend you guys own this weapon it's actually a bit more powerful than all of the ars in this game as well so one of the best if not the best pvp weapon in this game the micro smg isn't anything too special i'm gonna hide that one the sweeper also nothing too special the unholy hellbringer is actually a pretty cool meme type weapon it's like a laser type machine gun and finally the tactical smg also nothing too special i'm gonna hide that one so only two machine guns are needed in that class next up is going to be rifles we have a lot of different options the best one will probably be either the carbine rifle or the special carbine which i actually didn't even buy the regular ar mark ii is also not a bad one so i'm gonna leave that just cuz but definitely want to keep the carbine rifle mark ii and then heavy rifle not that great military rifle service carbine battle rifle just in case i actually run out of mark ii ammo since you can't carry too much mark ii ammo at a time i'm just gonna show one of these the service carbine which is basically the m16 is actually not a bad one i guess i'll just go with that one shotguns there aren't too many options i mean i got the pump shotgun mark ii which is an absolute beast by the way i have the explosive round so it's got some crazy range and crazy damage and then for a mark one shotgun i do have the assault shotgun which is also a semi-automatic shotgun unlike the pump shotgun so i actually really like that one if they ever make a mark ii version of the assault shotgun that thing would be nasty it would actually be so good sniper rifles is pretty straightforward the heavy sniper is by far the best one marksman rifle is a good secondary option just like with the rifles if you happen to run out of ammo you have a secondary option the precision rifle is the non-scope sniper it's a bit of a weird one i don't really like it i'm gonna hide that one onto heavy weapons which is all the rpgs grenade launchers homing launchers the grenade launcher can be pretty useful in certain pvp situations i'm gonna leave that obviously the rpg is a must the minigun on the other hand is not really a must i'm gonna hide that one just because i actually have the widow -made which is basically a laser version of the minigun it's actually insane firework launcher i'm gonna leave out there just for memes homing launcher is an absolute must Widowmaker, as we said compact emp launcher isn't very good so i'm gonna hide that and finally also for memes i'm gonna keep the snowball launcher with explosives we don't have too many options but i would recommend hiding the molotov i don't think it's that useful proximity mines i'm gonna leave it on show even though i don't even have any i don't even carry any at the moment i'm also gonna hide grenades just because i feel like sticky bombs are so much better and so much more useful so i'd go with sticky bombs and proximity mines for explosives and that's pretty much it so let's take a look at it outside and now as you can see we have only the must-have weapons that we want in our inventory we actually have tear gas it didn't even show me the option for tear gas so unfortunately we might have to carry this one actually i could just drop it all right now we only have sticky bombs that's good this is the widow maker by the way which i mean is just a better version of the machine machine gun as you can see it is an absolute beast it can blow up a lot of streetcars within just a couple of seconds as you can see that guy's on fire i don't even know what happened there let's actually use the shotgun on something can i blow up this car 
Yes, I can. Holy crap, this pump shotgun mark two is insane. I'm about to run out of ammo, which is why for some classes you want to have a mark one weapon just as a backup. I have a ton of ammo with the assault shotgun. I hope this video went on to help you out. If it did, drop a like on it and subscribe if you are new to the channel so you don't miss any more awesome videos like these. And now that you know the best weapon loadout, click the video on screen now for the best weapon attachments you can use. I hope you all enjoy that video and peace.